Australia fans, yes. What was that? What was that? Are you really the Ooh, I'm sorry, my Bluetooth is connected to my phone. I'm like, <laughs> what you talking to? You <laughs> can start go, going in. Go ahead. Hi. Oh. Hi, guys. Happy Patty's Day. Thank you. This is my only dream. Nice. Oh, yeah, St. Patrick's Day, huh? Listen to me. I'm staying in the house. Them days of going on. on magically cold. delicious. They're magically delicious. Woo! Um, I can hate her and her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but I am jealous of you when summertime and I want to wear these fancy tube tops and halter tops. I can't because my jugs are too damn big. So here we are. Anywho. Like I wear those. Ah, Chris, 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 as you, as you all see, Chris is uh, on route somewhere. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Ugh. You're in, you're in the desert country. In a, in a you better hurry up and get out of Florida quick. Because uh -uh, they about to make you a slave if you, you talk too loud. <laughs> mm -hmm. They gonna hem your ass up. Shit. Be like, go to the black section. Why are you sitting in our section? <laughs> do, you, do you hear that DeSantis is trying to take Rosa Parks' story yeah. out of the history books? He's trying to take everything, including the um, black sororities, fraternities, everything. Right. Insane. Oh, yeah. Where are the black people in Florida? Uh, hello? I don't know, because there's a whole hell of a lot of them in there. So I don't know what they're doing. Really, guy, you gotta sit right behind. Oh my God, get up off of our boy's ass right now. He's on your back. Ew. Ew. He is. He is up on you. I just, I just. <laughs> there you go. That's what you should do. Anyhow. Anyway, all right. Look here. <laughs> we, just, gonna, we 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 want to let's get too. let's get this done because you know we got Chris. Chris, we got to get Chris out of here. Um, yeah, I think I have what. I have. Two, two more days to quarantine I just, since I, have, I got COVID. <laughs> they don't care. That hospital, that hospital, I know, right? They that do hospital not care. Stuff. Bro, they don't COVID. care. That COVID was rough in there. <laughs> Oh Lord! Oh God! Here we go. Oh, look, look at Here we go. Like, oh. She's like, "Oh snap! Let me go. Let me bounce." Cough again. Cough again. He's like, he's like, "Bro, we gotta get out of here." He's like, "We gotta move." <laughs> it's the best shit I've seen all day. Yeah, they said that the four four little girls don't know that. It's hilarious. Since I haven't been able to breathe all week. <laughs> you got me fucked up right now. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, right, married at first sight. Let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Another uneventful episode. It was the one month anniversary. So let's just start. Who we want to start with? Let's just start with the good. Oh, go ahead. You Can go I ahead. Say one thing. The, nobody has chemistry except for one couple, and that's why it's so hard to watch. There's no chemistry. Right. Go ahead. Who you want to start with? We might as well start with the good couple, Nicole and Chris. And I missed a lot of theirs because yesterday I was sick and I was like watching it yesterday. And so I was like in and out of like this night whole fog. So he- I know they did the airplane ride. Yep, they went on the helicopter ride. Um, her, father, her father came to visit and brought her dog and he kind of gave Chris an earful. You know, her father, her father's like really- it. Like he's like really the rough said, on the edges. I like what the father said. He needs some big dick energy. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I do. Like, oh, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. No, because he's basically telling him. You know, he he basically told him in not so many words that you know you need to stick up for yourself. Like you need to because she's so, gonna come, she's gonna come hard. So you need to you know let her know dot 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 not yeah. So I liked it. I like the helicopter ride. Um, did they have dinner? I think she's just have, too like with Nicole, like she was all um at the dinner, she was like the moderator, like she was getting in everybody's business. Like, 
I was just like, come oh, on. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, I think one thing, I, go ahead, Chris, because you're. No, you know, you're right. I think they, they all, like, Clint does that for the men, and Nicole does that for the for everybody else. I mean, she's all up in, I was like. Oh. She really needs to kind of step back and mind her business a little. Your opinion is not needed in every situation. And I feel like you think that, you know, yeah, you got a good husband, but you had all these bad relationships before. Don't give any advice. Don't give well, any you, advice. You hear who she's giving advice to now. Yeah. Um, um, Shaquille. Shaquille. So, no. no. Well, okay, back to that with her advice. On the after party, Shaquille was on the after party and he he said, although he appreciates it, he's like, Nicole, she went, so she goes so far, she leaves notes. She leaves notes under their apartment door for Shaq, telling Shaq what he needs to do for Kirsten. Like, before you go to bed tonight, give your wife a kiss and a hug yeah. or what have you. And I'm that's, like- that's, that's, what was, that's what I was talking about, Shaquille. You, know? you, yeah. oh, you don't want to see that part? No. He's leap slipping notes under the door. No, and no, man. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. No. Mind your business. Yes, There's yes. such a thing as being helpful, but you don't know this man long enough to be doing all of this. Nope. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Basically. Yep. I know y'all are on this journey together and you feel that you, you know, you have this familiarity, but you need to back off a little. You don't know him. You don't know him like that. Agreed. Agreed. Worry about your marriage because at the end of the day, even though it's going good, you need to focus on your marriage to Chris and Chris alone. That's it. Don't worry about other people and if they've had, if they've been, first of all, I mean, I get it. It's the show, but it's like, I'm that whole, have y'all been intimate? You know, how yeah. far, how far has it gone? What stage y'all at? Have you been on first base or whatever? And I'm just like, too much. Man, that's a little bit much. Too much. Like that's too much. much. That's that's no, that's not appropriate. But I get it because it's the show, and you know people want to know. But still, mind your business. Call yeah. back, Nicole. I mean, I, I think she's just bored because everything is going so well for her and Chris. You know, that's a point. She like, probably just what? needs a little bit because she's used to getting nobody got nobody got on fire Stick today. It. <laughs> exactly. No, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I was joking. It don't, it don't but get me you're right about her being bored is that there's no drama going on in her life and it's going smooth feeling. So she probably does. Mm -hmm. I know we're wrong for that. We really are wrong for that. Yeah. And I, and I played into that. That's my fault. You did. You started it. I did. I did. Who you else we got? It. We going. So. Um, I'm one more quick. thing, one more on thing, this. one more thing about Nicole and Chris. Nicole needs to slow her roll. She her insecurities are too much. Like when they were watching their wedding video, and all she could oh, instead, the of, instead of just watching it and being happy with it and just saying, you know, he said you look beautiful, and they would, you know, they were complimenting each other. And all she kept focusing on was my my hair looked like shit, my makeup looked like shit. I don't like my dress, my hair had fallen. That I can see where that's that's like wearing on Chris. Like, he's not going to be able it to is. deal with that. If, if he said he it, right? People like that, he's going to be like, no. And and it goes it again to show what, what we said last week. You know, there is levels to insecurity. I was very surprised at how high, high her level is. Yeah, she's very insecure of herself and very critical. I'm. We're all critical of ourselves, but she has taken it way too far and. Yep. <laughs> Dude, don't get your ass hit. Don't you get yeah, those hands acting up? They look like um, oh, no, so she's, yeah, she's, so, she's totally insecure. Yeah, she's it's, really, that's she's, all that is—it's her insecurity. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So who else? Uh, let's go to. Um, but they're fucking. I can tell you that much. Yeah, she's happy. She's mm -hmm. happy. Oh yeah, she's yeah. very happy. But, and I, I think I think that's also about it. She doesn't. That's why she's doing so many outside things. She doesn't. She's never been. She's usually probably concerned with her relationship or trying to be everything for the person and trying to. Do, and now she has all this extra energy or to put someplace. So she telling Shaquille her what to do. She's getting other people's business. She's even you know, even the insecurity part of it is like. 
her boyfriend probably would say, oh, your makeup looks like shit. That's, you know, she's used to having that as opposed yeah. to uh, no uh, one's criticizing me. No one, you know, where Chris yeah. is like, oh, no, 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 you look great. It's like, no, I don't. I look like so-and-so. And she's used to having someone go, yeah, you, you look like shit. So, you know, yeah. I agree. she has so much extra energy. Yeah. She needs to chill, though. Um, let's go to Clinch and Gina. I this is this this week they were the surprise out the gate couple for me this week because they seem to get along really well. Um, just, I still don't buy I, it. Yeah, they're just friends. Yeah, I don't get no chemistry. Mm -hmm. I get okay. I don't get any chemistry, but as far as they're getting getting on well with each other, I think that it's a it's a great improvement as opposed to what we've been seeing. Like they went on that red. First of all, the two of them, oof, the, whoever is allowing them to dress the way that they dress, I mean, I they went that. on they went on that redneck bus tour with uh, with uh, Chris and N N Nicole, mm -hmm. and I was like, "What are you wearing? That is just the worst." But anyway, I thought that they had some. You know their relationships getting a little bit better as far as friend wise, like they're yeah. getting along well. Like I think they both they, they they both said, let's just do this until the end. Yeah. So let's get through it. We can be civil. They're still the roommates. That's what it is. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. They're yeah. roommates. Yeah. But she did she did admit when they when she he took her to that waterfall thing in Memphis that he he she sees why the experts match them up. Because they he's adventurous. That, yeah, he's adventurous. He's this. I think she's, but I think she's liking him because of how he loves her dog. Like some people can kind and of. And how her, her dog loves you. Her dog loves him too. Yeah. Her dog is all, Hank is all into Clint. Like Clint's ready to change the dog's last name. He's like, I want to be Hank Because they're related. Because they're related. That's why. Right. <laughs> that's they look, they look. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That is true. That is true. Um, yeah, I think uh, they surprised me. That's all I'm going to say about yeah. them. They I get what you're saying. I just don't feel like anything about her and what she says is genuine, especially the part, you know, when she was breaking down, like, oh, they all say that. They, I see why the experts put us together, and yet they still don't work hard. I'm going to go with what Chris said last week, and I'm just jumping a, a little bit. I think it's Kirsten who's really flipped the script and is like, you know, can see herself with him, but it's not going to work. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump ahead, but I, they all say the same thing. I see why the experts put us together, but they don't really do anything with that information. Yeah, I agree. I don't think they're going to work in the end. I think, like Chris said, I think they're just in it. They're, I mean, they're getting along. I think at the end, they're just going to be like, let's be friends and just, you know, it's just saying it you, ain't meant to be. Can you believe that they have, they had three other iterations after the show last night? They had the after party with Keisha. They had the couple's couch with uh -oh, a past cast members and, and, a, and a random, which I, if we should get on. Well, it's their couples. Everyone's a couple. And then they had the uh, halfway halfway thing with all those with Kevin Frazier. Oh, I missed all of that. The halfway thing with, you know, talking about everybody at how they should be doing and this and yeah. what they with they with the four from variety and anything tonight. Yeah. The, the ha I didn't watch I don't watch the couple's couch because I'm just like I don't I don't need to rewatch the show again and get and get these people's opinions, but I do agree. I'll be all over that if we could get our our asses on the couple's couch shit. But the, I watched the Kevin Frazier one, and that yeah. was that was good. And again, Kevin Frazier, hello, here we are. And the after party with Keisha, she had some guy on there. He has his own podcast, but I can see why he was brought on because he's more of um, he was a black guy. I forgot his name, but um, he had he's his podcast focus on like um black men and their like mental health and relationships and all of that. So he was good on there talking to Shaq and Aris, but I wish he would have got a little bit in Aris's ass and somebody needs to tell Aris that he needs to go. So having said that, let's just jump right into Aris and Jasmine because at this point, Aris needs that 
remember the Sandman or the Clown Man from the Apollo when people yep. would suck and they'd come out there and dance and get their ass off, sweep their ass off the stage. He somebody needs to come in with that cane, that long ass cane, and yank that motherfucker by his neck off the goddamn show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because Jasmine was giving me page vibes. Yes, on on the episode because she's like, I've worked so hard mm-hmm. to get where I'm at and be so happy and be you know confident in myself. This motherfucker is dragging her down and stomping on her fucking self esteem, and it's not right. Well, another thing is, did you see the one month anniversary? I was like, she looked good in that dress. Yes, she did. She looked. She looked she, 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 on what? She, on. Um, on her one month anniversary. The dress. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dress. She looked. She looked good. Remember. She looked like good a, when they went. Like a blood she, yeah. She looked good when they went to that date. When he took her to that rage room, and she had on those. She had on like the midriff, like bra- bralette top or workout top, and she had on some like spandex on or whatever, and. She looked good. She ain't an ounce of fat on that child. And she's got a cute little, she ain't got a Megan the Stallion ass, but who does? Okay. But she's got a nice little juicy booty back there. She's, I, I think she's got a great body. I still don't, I still, it's really hard for me to understand. And they were talking about this in the after party. He won't even have sex with her. And they talk about how the one, he's had one, one night stands. And this is your, you have one night stands before. And this is your wife now, and you're not just a trial. And I, I, that's what I was saying from the very beginning. I think I think it's there's a fear that he, that he's gonna get. I think he's so afraid that he's gonna get whipped, or or he wants to be an independent person. I don't know why. I don't think I think so it's so just person, that he absolutely is not physically attracted to her. That's look. If he's having, you know, uh, but one night stands. I mean, unless you're just drunk and it, you you know, you got the what is it called? Like the the boot, the beer goggles or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But he has to see her but every single day. Yeah, I don't, something, something, something's not. Something's not. He gay. Adding up to me. He's not gay. <laughs> A lot of I think, he's I think gay. It just it just it doesn't, it doesn't feel like. <laughs> There's something else going, working for him not to be such a such a freak or a sexual person. Talking about all the things he's done, and and he's been celibate for a month now. He said, and they said, I'm I'm okay with being celibate. I know I can sell. Like, but you don't have to be. You don't have to be. But that's why I feel like he's lying. That's why I feel like he's lying. He's 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 selling us this whole big thing about how he has this sexual prowess and how he was just all into this. And now he's saying, well, I don't want her to get it, which is admirable if I liked him. But him saying, like, you know, I don't want her to get emotionally attached to me. She's a little bit emotionally attached already. She's married to him. I mean, come on. Right, so she is a little bit attached to, to that idea. Lot, yeah. mm-hmm. So I think with him, he's but, lying about something. Maybe I don't believe he's gay either. I just threw that out there that maybe he's just not attracted to her. But maybe he does have somebody else. Maybe he, he's on this show not for the right reasons at all. I don't know why he's on the show. No. I don't know why he's on there either, but I'm just saying he's not on here for any right reasons. He's on, there's some kind of game plan. Here's my here's my thought on this. I think that she is too. She's a nice girl, a nice woman, and I think she's just not aggressive enough for him. Let's just put it this way: regardless of the big ass and all, the lack of the ass and all of that. I think if she was a little bit more like, how can I say this? Like a little bit more like dirty, like, like, ooh, come on over here. You better come on over here and spank this ass. You better get up in here and dun, 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 and did all this. I bet if she did that, he'd be like, oh, okay. Like she's not physically my type, 
but you don't know how dirty she is unless you at least tap it first what you know there's some people that have to build up to that i mean have sex with her and then when she feels comfortable she might be the dirtiest chick you ever been with but you you ain't even given her the little bit yet and uh, but that's i understand having the emotional he doesn't want her to get emotionally attached, but she's already emotionally attached. Yeah, she wants to fuck, and she wants to fuck her husband. So why don't you just do it? Is she saying it? Thank you. And it's it, and that's not their only issue, but that's the issue that they keep talking about. They get along well. They hang out together. They do things together. He's like, you know, she was he's there for when I when he had COVID. <laughs> when he had COVID, you know. Yeah. So no. so so what's the so what's the problem? So uh, I'm just trying to think. Of, if he has sex with her, for instance, is, does that mean that it, it, is he worried about? Oh, there's nothing wrong with her, and it's me. Does that make sense? Is he? That, I think that's what he's afraid of. I think he's afraid of if he has sex with her and the sex is even remotely good, he's gonna be like, I'm married and I'm settled down, and there's no reason why I should not be married. And settle down with this woman because she's everything that I need and want. And she's she's he's not used to a woman, he's not used to being with a woman like her. Because you notice the last time when they were playing that game, the drinking game, and he said she was like, You really you're calling me boring because I've never had a one night stand, I've never cheated on anybody in a relationship. Kissed a girl. And I've never kissed a person of the same sex, a woman, you know. She's like, and he's like, well, yeah, that just seems like a boring life or what have you. And I'm like, bro. So that just that just showed me the type of woman women that he's probably associated himself with all and this. And why he's time. never been in love. And why he's never been right. in love. So the, and now he's got That's what I think he's afraid of. I really think he, he's afraid of that. I really think yeah. he's afraid of being in love. He's yeah. afraid of being in love with because she's everything that he asked for. He asked for a queen. He asked for all this kind of stuff. The only thing he is that he's hinging things on is she don't have a big ass and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Yep. Really? How are you going to hurt her feelings? I kind of go back to when I say he's lying, like when he was all like, oh, you're boring or whatever. I think he was strategically trying to make her more disgusted with him. You know, like, you know, oh, you don't... Because what man, black man, if a... You know, first of all, they all into body counts as it is. Two, you talk about cheating and one night stands. When you come out the gate telling that to a guy, he's going to treat you accordingly. So him saying, you know, him saying, oh, you're boring for this. I think he was just saying that to piss her off or to make her be like, you know what? Put more walls up against him because he doesn't want it. And he's not man enough to say, you know what? This is not what I wanted. My cousin was fucking right. You know, this is, you know, she might be a great girl for somebody else, but this is, I don't want it. I don't want it. He, he's full of shit. He's full well, of shit. Yes, right he there. is full of shit. And somebody should have, I mean, at, at this point, the expert again the experts need to get involved it, it, it he needs to he needs to have his feet held to the fire and be like bro what are you going to do because he shouldn't be allowed at this point he shouldn't be allowed to continue to go on to the 8 weeks if he's all he's going to i mean all he brings to the table at this point is basically nothing if it if it ain't sex talk or just being rude to her he brings nothing to the table when they were at their anniversary dinner, he sat, he was so uninterested. He didn't even there. look at her. He wouldn't even look her in the eye. He's do, She's talking. She's trying to have a serious like conversation with him. And he's, he's not in it. And I was screaming at the TV because I'm like, Jasmine, get your ass up and walk away. And just say, if you want this to work, then you come find me because I'm out. I'm going to get my shit and my dog and I'm going back to my parents' house. I'm out. My dog, my dog. What you ain't going to do, what you ain't going to do is humiliate me. And especially if I've worked so hard on uplifting myself and working on my, you know, uh, self-esteem, I'm going to let your 
10 year old ass older than me friggin' bring me down fuck that yeah. he needs to go somebody needs to j- jump in next week whether it be pepper or cal he needs to get in his ass they not they absolutely are not gonna do it um it just like with um with Paige and and Chris, and Chris, they let all that stuff play out. They knew how that he wasn't in it and running back and forth, and they did nothing. Yep. Yeah. And you would think that they would have learned from Paige and Chris because people were outraged over that. And here we are letting it happen again. He's not he, as rude as he's not as rude as Chris. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. But he is on the cusp of it. Like again. Shut the fuck up about sex. How does that make your wife feel when all you want to do is talk about sex, but you don't want to fuck me? Like at the group dinner. And he's like, so what did he say? I forgot what the question he asked about sex or whatever. I I can't remember what he said, but it was another sex question. And she looked at him like, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. He brings nothing to the table. He... I'm like, I know he has a good job, but I have not, he doesn't talk about anything. And why does she, she, why is she attracted to him? Why does she what? Why is she attracted to him? That's what I would kind of No figure. idea. He does not seem intellectual at all. Nope. Mm. He, I don't even think he's remotely cute, period. I mean, did he cook, pick, pick a good brass? Uh, um, does he cook well? Does he, does he feed her? I mean, is he good at sport? He, there's, I don't see anything. Because he has no interest in her whatsoever. But that's what I say about None. all of them to a point. They're just not interesting people. Or no. they're not matched with somebody that would make them more interested. Like, they're all kind of very boring. And even the, the couple I like, Chris and um, Nicole. and Nicole, they're just, really, when you think about it, everybody is kind of like just boring. Together and on their own. Even Shaq. I like Shaq. Thank God he has the school because we see another part of his personality. But on the show, dealing with Kirsten, it's like boring. I don't know. And we can we can go right into them too because she listen to me. She, I, before we go into them, can I just say one thing? Sure, sure. When I say boring, you think about all the other seasons before. And even with couples that you didn't like, there was something more that you wanted to see about the couples. You know what I'm saying? Whereas with them, it's 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 like a blank page, and we have to fill in the words. It's it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Oof. But yeah, well, we already know they ain't, we already know they're not going to last. You know, no. you know they're going to drag. You're right, Shahida. They'll drag it out. For the remainder of the season, and we'll we'll listen. Uh, we'll once again witness the slow decline of her self esteem. Go to the gutter, and then in eight weeks she's gonna be like, "Oh no, I'm not, I don't I don't want to stay married to you." I like I said, I was in and out of sleep watching it. Um, that night, well, it's it's it will do something to you, but. <laughs> Did she, was it her that said something? I saw somebody in the kitchen in one of the kitchens, and they were like, you know, I just learned how to love myself. And that this was, person was that her? It was Jasmine. Yeah, that was deep. Yep, that was deep. So she she really needs to get out of the situation because if you're just learning how to love yourself, and you're with somebody that's constantly making you question who you are as a person, and like, Ooh, girl, I got a story. But or, anyway. well, how how could you be? I could not do it. I could not be in my in a relationship, let alone married, fighting you to like me and have feelings for you. Like that is the worst feeling in the world to be with someone. And I have all the feelings for you. I'm ready to go ride or die for you. And I know for a fact that you. Have there's nothing there at all. I am gone. I'd have to be gone. So, and I'm talking about a regular relationship. This is a whole ass marriage, and it's like, why should she have to suffer through this shit? He he needs to go. What did you think about his proposal of not having sex until 
after decision day. That was just his punk to ass take, way to take, to take the pressure off. That was his punk ass way of he don't you know we're not gonna this isn't this is never gonna happen, Jasmine. So let's wait until after decision day because what, he should have been a man and say because on decision day you don't we're not gonna have mm. to worry about having sex because I'm not right. gonna say yes. Right. Didn't she? Didn't she say it was? But other stuff is on the table. Did she say that? She I wants, almost, she wants I to almost work on, fell out. Work on their intimacy, regardless of the sex. Work on their intimacy. And he's like, yeah, we can. No, she that. said, would you be open to other intimate things yeah. other than other than like sex? So I'm like, girl, don't do it. Girl, don't do it. Don't don't give him a blow job. Don't no. Don't do none of that. Sorry, because her the way she was asking, it's like she's she's willing. She is willing to go and do some other shit with him, with the exception of full on penetration. I'm like, girl, don't do it. You know, my mind always goes straight to the gutter, and I'm like, boo boo, do not suck his wiener. I'm just surprised that they make they're in the bed all together, right? Right, they're sleeping together. Yeah, right? yeah, that. and not one time. Some like you know, he turned. He made it known that he turns over and he just goes to sleep. And she said it too. He's not. There's. Not, have you ever laid in a bed with a man and him not try and do something? No. Well, or just God. even like. Thank God for me. No. 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 Ooh, I'm never <laughs> I'm just not getting it. <laughs> no, never be... mm. no. But you never know what they were thinking, Chris. They could have been thinking like, we're here together. I'm bored. <laughs> I just want to scream. It's almost, even if the person is, I mean, it's just, it's just no way. Just no, this, no. So this, he, he either he's he's lying about a lot. We just don't know what it is. It might not even ever come out. But he's lying about a lot. He does not want her. No, nope. she just needs to pack up her stuff and either go to the next room and sleep in there because all you're gonna do is wake up frustrated every morning. Yeah, and I'm not gonna wake up frustrated every morning. No, guys. Myself is not gonna do the shit for me. Nope. Yep. I, listen, at this point, Jasmine, go you go find yourself a side piece for the next eight weeks and get your back blown out because he ain't going to do it for you. Move on. I wonder what he would do if she just started pleasing herself right there in the bed. With him. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, I was just thinking what about that. Do? You think about that too? Nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He should. I was like, girl, yeah, what if she's like, you know what? If you ain't going to give it to me, I'm going to give it to me. In you want to join in? You. Yeah. Right. You want to join in? What would he do? I think he would like just like put the pillow over his ears and just pretend to be like no, nope. no. Nope. That's, what, that's he's what a pig. I'm he's a freak. Understand. If he's a freak, if he's a so-called freak, and she did that, he he'd probably get up and watch her. I don't think he might watch it, but he ain't gonna do nothing else. He ain't gonna do nothing. That's the point. Yeah, I, don't, I don't understand that. He ain't gonna I, do nothing, but he'll watch her. I don't get why you wouldn't do anything. Why you or if, if they, like if she's like, let's do it together. Because I also, you, you, you. It, what, what, what it would does, you do? It? it doesn't seem like he's the type of dude that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to protect this woman's feelings. He doesn't what seem like it? that kind of dude. He don't even look her in the eye when he's talking. So right. He, so so you're not giving her eye contact. You so don't care about her. Like, yeah, but that's why that's that's where it doesn't make sense to me. It's it like, doesn't. You don't really care about them. No, he's just right there. He's just leave. Like just you take like it. pull a Dominique at this point. Just pull a Dominique and say, "I've tried. I don't ever see myself having sex with her. So therefore, like she's not my type. So therefore, let's just." I'm gonna, in order to prevent any hurt feelings or what have you, I'm I'm willing to just walk away and end this now. Just pull a fucking Dominique and leave, cause I'm over him. He, I'm so just, he's just he's just making me so upset in the first place. Why did he even go on the show in the first place? Seriously, what is his motivation going on the show? And again, I think I go back to the experts when he said that he's never been in love. Then maybe you should date to find love. 
and then come back to us because you are not ready to be in a relationship. Sir. Period. <laughs> Period. Anyway. He's the on. So he's, he probably is the most unlikable one on the show right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks definitely well, most unlikable. Well, what? Kirsten's a really close Kirsten's a Kirsten's a close she's second. second. She's second. Oh yeah, he, you know they're close. So we're, we're jumping to them now. I can't really tell with yeah. I can't really tell with her. She talks he's, like she's sick or yeah. old, and it's annoying. Her voice with her. absolutely annoys me to death. She talks like she's six, and I just I'm like you are a, you are an adult, and she talks with that whiny tone all the time, and I'm just like. Ugh. I <laughs> her voice doesn't bother me. Her voice, it's her, it's what she says <laughs> that bothers me. She's just a lot. I think she's just manipulative more so yeah. than anything. That she's right, like really. Well, you have to find out more about me. You know, why uh -huh. don't you find out more? Why don't you find out more about me? Well, why don't you tell him? Like it's like it's like he should always. She's like he should always ask her. Like, how are you feeling? What do you What do you want? Da, 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 da. Why don't you be a wife and communicate to your husband? And then what I didn't like about her on this episode was he he was very forthcoming. He's like, I want to get to know you. I want to get to know other areas about you. Like, I want to meet you. I want to know your family. I want to know your friends. I want to know this. And she had the, at, the audacity to say in her little confessional, you know, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bring him to meet my people right now. It's still right. new. Like if we, if after, if we say yes, after decision day, then he can get to know these people. And I'm like, you're defeating the purpose here. You're married. You're not doing, you're not doing this experience correctly. Let this man, if this man wants to see your family and be around your friends to get another idea of how you are as a person, then do it. She's an yeah. idiot. Pretty and much. she wants him to, she wants him to be aggressive. And oh, with what she told her friend, you know, why can't, when he comes in the door, why can't he kiss me and say, hi, how's your day? All I get is a, hey, well, honey, you've been pushing him away so long. What do you expect him to do at this point? One minute she's here, the next day she's here. And I didn't, and I didn't agree with Kevin Frazier when, when he was saying, you know, when she said, oh, well, you know, if you just, like, you know, about the kissing part, whatever, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, she gave, she gave him the, the go ahead. Why does she, why does she kill just do it? And I'm like, because she does, I don't think she's. Being forthcoming, she's not. No, she's not. It is easy she, to tell she's still, that she's not being she's forthcoming. Still not attract, she's still not attracted to him. No. Nope. Is there any kind of intimacy? She's like, oh, no. And like when they went after the group dinner and they came back and they were sitting on the couch, and he's like, just when I think everything is going good, you get in front of a bunch of people and then you drop this bomb on me. She's fake. She's fake. And then, like you said, Tanya, she had that whole big discussion about, like, you know, well, when you come home, I ask you, well, Chris, how are you doing? I mean, Shaquille, how are you? Or whatever. And you don't do that to me. And he's like, I do ask you about yourself. And I believe I'm 100% because we've yep. seen it on camera mm -hmm. that he's asking where we are, how mm -hmm. are you feeling, or whatever. And if you felt like, oh, I needed to work on intimacy, why do you wait to get to a group or in front of a camera to say it instead of telling that man mm -hmm. what you what what you want and what you expect? It's just an easy cop out for her to be able to say, well, you're not communicating to me. Well, why are you not communicating, man? Why yeah. are you not well, voicing I, what you want, man? I, I have my I have my walls up. My walls are coming down a little bit. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're just not. stop. They're not. No. And yeah, you're right, Shahida. Like she's she's communicating to the wrong people. Like communicate with your husband. Like she's, no, what she's doing is she's building a false narrative to other people that makes her look good when she can come home and, and just continue to lie in this man's face. Yep. Agreed. I like the fact that he's not he's not going for the bullshit anymore. Yeah. Nope. 
he's kind of like, he says, I don't know if I can be with someone who has such walls up and won't let me in mm-hmm. into anything. You won't even let me into your lips. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> yes. Facts. She, 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 she won't even you know what? Her. It would be great if they had paired her with Eris. You know why? Because they both they both would end up cheating on each other, fucking around, mind fucking each other. They, they would be a catastrophe, but it would be interesting to watch. I'm telling you, and they you know, mixed it's, it's up it's them two couples. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I think I think you're right. I think that Shaquille and Jasmine. Yep. Got, she'd have been a great wife. She'd have been a great queen by his side. How she a is hundred. with all them, all those damn dogs and all his damn plants. And she'd have been like, oh, and he does makes bow tie and this, that, and the other. And you know, they would have been much more matched up than. Yep, one hundred percent. I've I've been saying that they match. They and match. Airless, airless would have gotten a big ass and a woman who don't care about him and who just yep. wants to hit it and quit it. And he'd be much more aggressive than Shakira. She was being very nice and being very respectful of her. I don't think she wants someone to be nice and respectful. But I think he wants to shut the fuck up and come over and suck my dick. Did I not say that in one of our past ones? I'm like, if he would just be like, bitch. She tightened up real quick. I don't know. I you think, don't know. I think she really turned off by his looks. And I think if he was to approach her in that way, she would use that as an excuse. And she'd be on camera crying about she fearing for her safety. I wouldn't fucking trust her. Yeah, someone, who else did that in another season? Someone uh, else did that, that gaslight. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't like, I didn't like how he was so. Oh, aggressive. I can't remember. Oh, was it, was it, um, it was, um, in Boston? Was it? When um, what's her name? Alyssa. What? Because then she say, you know, when he would approach her and then try and find out. What, oh my God! You know, I really felt scared, and she she was really gaslighting. He was yeah. basically asking a question. Yeah, and I think that she would recoil, like like you said, Chris, with um the Kevin Frazier. When Kevin Frazier was like, oh, if she if that's what she said, then I'd be like, oh, camera, everybody leave. Yeah. We're doing it. I think if he went at her like that and was like come here and you know let's that she she probably recoil and be like oh no i think i think i think what they're going off of is what we see in terms of she seems to be nice or breaking down the walls or getting closer but i don't i think i i trust what shaquille's instincts are of like no she that's what i'm saying we gotta go by yeah. his clue yeah. because his yeah. clue is right. that she's one way in front of everybody in the cameras in a completely mm. different way at home y'all mm. you i don't know how many hours they have without the cameras but in those in that time frame if you're not making any effort to do all the things that you said on screen then you're lying yeah. agreed that ain't gonna work i i think he's gonna I, and i hope well, we'll see how it ha- how it how it pans out. I mean, we still got some time left, but um, but no. Remember Tanya? Remember when he was on one of the first um lives or whatever with Keisha? He said then, and we all like, well, well, well we gotta watch and see. He said then she's a different person, yeah, on screen than she is when the cameras are not rolling, and now we see him starting to vocalize that on on, on the actual show. So he's yeah. really kind of, it, it's a nice thread of him really calling, kind of bringing her out together. So we'll see. We'll see. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting. I believe him. I believe him. And I was, you oh, know, I do too. About some of the comments I was reading on, I think it was Instagram or it could have been, um, it wasn't Twitter, but I think it was Instagram. And then people were like, you know, oh, he needs to slow his role because he's not cute. She's a 10, he's a five. He, she is not a ten. She's attractive. Don't get me wrong. She's a pretty lady. That weave because you know, her hair is not matching the weave, and oh, you know, he's yeah. But she yeah. doesn't have any personality at all. None. A dead fish. She's like this. Saying, no yeah. personality whatsoever. Well, I mean, would you have to? You know, you have to get to know me. She doesn't seem oh. fun at all. Because she's not attracted to him. I bet if she was all, I bet, it bet, listen, I don't know. 
She don't even seem fun when she's just with the girls. She does just she just seems like a fucking dud. Yeah, that is true. Well, we've seen her apartment, so if that really is if that really is her apartment, then exactly. that alone no is personality. personality. She's no, has, she's no. nothing. And nothing. When did she go to work? When did she go to work? I mean, like you're a real estate agent, you should be out there hustling. She she don't even have a hustler oh. spirit. Oh, what do you think about the whole house thing? Oh, I saw that preview. She she did. Oh, you missed it. You she, missed she's, she's she said there was a there was a never before seen exclusive where she's like, well, you're gonna have to get me a house, and he's like, you mean you're not gonna help contribute to anything? She's like, no. If I'm pushing you out think, babies, if I'm pushing out babies for you, you gotta get me the house. She ain't gonna help. And he was like, like he said, we're not gonna do it together. He's like, no, I'm, if I'm doing the baby, I'm taking out the baby. I was like, oh, no. But she said, theater. but she did throw, she did throw in there, um, but I'm going to be on the deed. Oh, I'll be on the deed of the house, right. but she's going to buy it. I'm not, I'm not contributing nothing. I'm oh, pushing no, out, I'm pushing out your babies. I, girl, you ain't even let him have sex. He can't even think about babies because there's no sperm, meat, and egg unless you actually lay down with the man. Come on. You know, no, not she, she, she's not in it. Well, that was just disrespectful to say anyway, because again, you're married. If this marriage lasts, what do you do as a married couple? You, you, if you, buy, if you want to buy a house, you buy a house together. Yeah. You, build yeah, you build together. It's yeah. our house. Why should I have to buy the house? Or why should you have to buy the house? We buy this house together. We're building together. We're having children together. Yes, you're giving birth, but this these are our children. When that that whole I'm pushing out your babies, like what the fuck? You know what? Now that I think about it more, I think Kirsten has been told too many times that she's pretty. She doesn't have anything behind that, right? So, like, I'm like, I'm thinking about it. Like, I I've been in commercial real estate. I've been in residential real estate. All my, she doesn't even have the personality to sell a house. Just the mm-hmm. basics. Because there are plenty of real estate agents that will take you to a house and be like, this is this, this is the kitchen, this is the bathroom. Mm-hmm. What do you think? You know, they may sell a house, you know, one or two times, but they're not busting out the numbers at the end of the month. You know, mm-hmm. she's very bland. So she really thinks that, you know what? I got looks. People say I'm pretty. Dudes have probably fallen for me before, but you ain't never got a ring. That's why you're on this show. Right. I wish you I, don't I wish have anything see. to back it up. She, hmm? Who are the other dudes that she has dated? Yeah, I want to see him. I want to see him because if you got you think ball players, you think ball players? No. I don't know. I think no. uh, to, just to take it a little bit further is you're right. She's pretty and she probably has had no problem attracting a man. But there's a reason why you're single, miss, because these guys, she probably gets the guy. And then once the guy is in there for like three to six months and he realizes that <laughs> there ain't nothing up there, they are gone. That's it. Mm. And that, and like you said, that's why you're but, unmarried at first sight. But she, but she could be different if she's attracted to that. You know what I mean? She could be different. I mean, yeah, we just oh, I believe because... she probably is different if she's attracted to them. I mean, believe she's. She, I believe she's probably like Jasmine, but needier. And then this that neediness part probably that's just like, mm, mm. yeah. And you don't communicate. I mean, if she's, it, it isn't that she's. I mean, it, it would be probably different if she was attracted to the guy, but still, you don't even have those basic communication skills. Mm-hmm. To, you know, you should be able to have a civil conversation with the man, regardless if you're attracted to him or not. Mm-hmm. Like this whole, this isn't a first time. Like I can see her saying this to other men. Like, well, why don't you? Why you don't ask me? Like. I'm not, you don't, you don't come to me and ask me about me or this, that, and the other thing. Um, I'm sure this isn't the first time this has happened with her, where she's not yeah. being communicative to her person. 
And yes. again, that's why she's what ended up on Married at First Sight. And now she's making Shaq's life miserable. And there's nothing wrong with being gorgeous and still single because that's, hey. I mean, look happens, at me. That happens to friggin' Halle Berry, everybody. <laughs> gorgeous and still single, right? So the thing- Why is, here? And, 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 and we're just commenting on the fact that she's not bringing anything to a nothing. golden situation golden situation mm -hmm. she's not bringing anything but oh i'm pretty that's it that's it, that's it. nothing yeah. okay well i think that's all we got today that was, well, that was it that's it yeah. we covered everybody yeah it was it was it was a bland week because again like i said from the top i just don't think no one's interesting enough no. No one's interesting enough. I, I, the one I do like the most is Shaq, still. Yeah. Um, I still like Nicole and Chris, but. And I like Jasmine, too. Oh, I like, yeah, of course I like Jasmine, but the situations that they're all in, they're, I'm not even entertaining. Um, the situations that they're all in are just done. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's crazy. I don't remember. I can't remember like a first anniversary being so blah. And I'm, I will, I will give them credit though. I'm glad that for the first anniversary, they they focused on the dinners and their activities that they were doing. Because remember, in seasons past, they always had everybody. You know, we we have to suffer through rewatching, watching them watch their wedding videos. So the only person that did it was Chris and Nicole, which was fine, but. Remember before they used to make everybody like they you'd have to go through all, suffer and watch them go through their photo album and watch their wedding videos back. Yeah, we're good. We're done with that. We're done with that. But, and, and I was thinking about the the New Orleans season again, and just how like at this point the one month or whatever, and like Marty and Woody were so entertaining from like day one. And I think it was more so because together and separately, they were lively people. Yes. And you see these people, like Chuck, I love him to death, but he's not lively on the show. He's, you know, he's very low key, which I respect because, man, you got a good job and I don't want you to be out here showing your ass. But Monty and Woody and even like um, the other two, Amanda, was her? I, I forget what they named the, the 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 white couple with the dude with the glass. They were entertaining. Oh, Amelia, yeah. Amelia and Bennett. Yeah. They were entertaining together. They were on a couple, and separately. couple's couch. Oh, they were Bennett and Bennett and uh, Bennett. The, and the, the, the black the, the brother with the glasses, who married the best friend of of Woody. Oh, Miles. The two of them were were together. On the yeah, they on the were they, they were all just very entertaining together mm -hmm. and separately, and and that's when you see them get together at the at the um, table and have dinner. The inter really interesting conversation, like you know. But this one is all scripted. It seems all scripted, and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're boring. They, I, well, I, it's it's boring because no, none of them are attracted to each other. Like you, the only couple that we have is Chris and sparks. Nicole. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And, I mean, and that's basic at best. No one's attracted to each other. They're barely. No one's attracted to each other. No one's actively communicating with each other. Yeah. Therefore, when you get these group dinners together or these group outings together, it's absolutely. It's Dudsville, Snoresville. It's like wah, 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 wah. Yeah, nobody next. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that shit. Next. Anywho. All right, y'all. Um, right, it's been real. So um don't hang up. But we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Deuces.